Hello everyone, I am back with another Minecraft video for some reason. I don't know why these things always do horrible, but I like making them. This one's actually not some editing, and don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna be exploring that seed that I did in that 1.18 generation is revolutionary video since me and a friend were exploring it later on and my gosh is it so much better than I first expected but first thing make sure that Taves and Cliffs is activated for this scene which is on screen right now it's gonna make the multiplayer game off so nothing bad happens and here we go this is the seed this is honestly like one of if not the best 1.18 seed for mountains that I have seen so far I mean 1.17 version of wow my let's play world has a lot of mountains and all of these mountains are like super sized in 1.18 it's actually really cool i think this probably being one of my favorite 1.18s of all time so you spawn in this little forest area it's quite cool a little seed review video i don't know if this will be a recurring thing but you spawn in this forest facing this massive mountain right here it's a good spawn i mean it's not the best but it's not the worst it's a nice little taiga biome it looks cool and this mountain just goes on forever. Like, look, I'll turn off my render distance. Hopefully this won't kill my PC. But you spawn next to this massive mountain that has a bunch of cool things in it. As you can see, it transitions really smoothly from the taiga biome into the mountain. You go up here. This mountain is actually really long. I might consider these two separate ranges, in fact. But for this mountain, the highest point is a whopping uh, 207. Look at everything you can see. Look at this that big circle. I could see up to there if I had the resident render distance up that high, but I don't. I'm gonna get an elytra form. Some good old fireworks. And now we are gonna go. If you wanna know the very tip top of this mountain, the coordinates will be on screen right now. Now, but this isn't the only good best part about the seed. The seed gets even better. And I'm actually gonna fly over there because it is close enough for me to fly over there. Most of these destinations I would recommend you teleport to and there'll be cuts in between that but this one you can actually just fly or walk to from this mountain so let's do that right now I'm just gonna leave this in one take because this is cool just look at this beauty look at this massive plain and it, there's a transition to a mountain meadow into a taiga biome again and this is where the mountain gets really big it goes all the way up. The highest tree is at, uh, I believe it to be around the generation limit, at a whopping 243 blocks high. This is the second. This is I consider this like a separate mountain, just because that's all flat, and then it just spikes up around here. So yeah, mountain range number two. But this isn't the main feature of this. This is. That's right, a mountain village. I'm not even kidding, like, a couple hundred blocks away from spawn, you just need to traverse across that mountain, or just, like, walk around the base of it, which I guess would take a long time, considering the scale of this thing. So yeah, mountain village, I don't think there's any blacksmiths in here. There might be, it's decently sized, quite a lot of villagers in it, it has a nice blend of, it is a plains village, I believe, not a taiga village, even though it's in a mountain biome, which is really cool. I think... Because, like, there's a dark oak biome, like, right next to it. So you could kind of call this, like, a dark oak plain mountain village. Uh, coordinates for that, the, the dark oak village will be right on screen now. Now, we actually get to fly to our third location because it is close enough away. You see that little mark in the distance? That's our next location right along here. I call this the mountain valley because right next to that mountain, it dips down this beautiful gorge area and then shoots right back up to another mountain and then this floating island thing that is a bug so yeah the floating island on top of the mountain meadow right here at around let's see the coordinates will be on screen right now for the mountain meadow the mountain meadow floating island correction it's weird to say that because it's like so cool sounding there's also a bunch of azalea trees around too like an absurd amount of them So if you like azalea trees, this is like the biome for you. Alright, now I'm just going to do some straight up, up teleporting because I've probably shown you like the co two coolest set of mountains. There are a bunch more cool ones. Also the azalea trees. That the coordinates will be on screen right now because I this is actually different from a patch I found earlier. Which is a little farther away. 
Uh, these are a lot closer to spawn, but there's a lot fewer of them. There's only like six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I actually didn't notice this. Because I wanted to check out the lush cave underneath it. Azalea tree, the flush cave. Where the lush cave is. I'm just going to put this lava cauldron as one right now as well. This lava little crevice area that leads deep into the earth right here. It's going to still be up on screen right now. If you cannot read the ones in like the horn little thingy. And now let's go to another location. Alright everyone, this is a little bit a ways away from everything. Actually, this is two locations. If you're really into azalea trees, this is the biome for you. There are a lot. I actually don't know how rare azalea trees are. It's like stupid for that. But if you start all the way down here, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven azalea trees. There's one on this ridge somewhere. I don't know where it went. Seven, right there. There's a seven. And it's cut off by the Stark Oak, which makes this really weird effect. Like that. And yeah, this is our sixth destination. Seven, seven azalea trees on a mountain. Also, a cool little cave thing. With a massive cave underneath them. If you thought the last cave was massive, think again. This will be even bigger. This one is a ways away from spawn, so you probably won't be able to get to this right away. But if you do... I'd say go for it. I mean, look at this. I know I have RTX on, but still, you can't say this isn't just drop dead gorgeous. Let me just fly through this thing. Got fireworks give me too much speed now. I need to turn around. I wanna look at the scale of this thing. I mean, like my gosh, it looks absolutely gorgeous just flying throughout this cave. You go up, you go around, you go down, you go over. It's just a big overall cave, which leads right up to the surface, actually. Making one of probably the best surface cave that you can go. If you want to know the actual entrance to the cave instead of, like, accessing it through the azalea tree. So I guess some people might prefer this. Because it's, well, it's easier to get into for survival players. Right here, the coordinates will be on screen for that. The azalea, the massive azalea entrance. Look at this. It's like playing a game of Glide on the Xbox 360, just flying through this thing. Can I make it? Can I make it? I can. Also, as an added bonus, there is an amethyst geode right there. I don't think I can break it in time. Nope, I can't. Yep. Mess little amethyst geode just popping into the wall in the middle of it, right before a fall where you would surely die. So yeah, this is a pretty sweet location, but it gets even better. Even though this is really cool, there are still more that come, so let's get on with it. I know that's a very awkward cut, I just kind of messed that up. But let's get on to our next location. Villages are a common theme in this seed, as you can see right here. Here are the coordinates for this one, up on screen now. This I like to call like a run-on mountain village, or mountain village deluxe. There's another mountain village, but it's not as cool as this one. Also, this is, this bug happened, which is really nice. It, it, it bottles a floating island and generated the dirt all weird to make it look natural, but it just looks really awkward now. And yeah, it's a plains village, it's kind of in a forest, it just runs straight up into the mountain. There's a few blacksmiths scattered around, I'm pretty sure. And it just runs onto this massive mountain biome, surrounded by this taiga that just goes on for ages. It's, a, it's really a sight to see. It's not tall or anything, like, I mean, the highest point is around, like, 200, this little, like, chalice thingy, not chalice or whatever. Like, this little pillar, like, a swamp thingy like it look it's a swamp biome down there just runs up the mountain but overall it's a decently tall mountain it's surely it's not like the tallest one there is but it is one of the taller ones and it's this nice little like mountain area which i find pretty cool then it kind of stretches out in this massive t formation there's another really massive cave down there as well as another there are two massive caves within sight of the village one right there one right there which is also a pretty sweet deal. I'd honestly recommend this village if you settle into. Considering you can literally just like fly into these caves. Oh, well, this is the uh, never mind. Let's fly into the other cave. But yeah, I'd personally recommend you settle here. Just because it's easier, I think, to like, get things going from this village. Just because of where it's located and all the resources it has when compared to the other village I'm going to show you. Right? This village is actually quite thriving. It is small, but it has a lot of villagers in it, I think. 
If they could load in, it takes a while to load in because of it's just a ton today because of you know RTX and everything. It's like kind of killing my computer. But hey, it's worth it for you like five loyal viewers to see this. Anyways, this I think honestly has the most epic, like at least thumbnail worthy um <laughs> village of them all. Like if you want to start a let's play on this, like this would be the village to do it from. It's not a village. I want to call it a mountain village. But it is definitely near a mountain. Like, look at the scale of this thing. Just as you go up, it just, it's a, such a sheer climb. It's absolutely astounding, and I love it. If, you might notice this area. It looks kind of familiar. But you know what? We're going to come back to this mountain area. And instead, let's go to the next feature. Alright, everyone. This isn't really all that special. I mean... It, it's just like a nice little collection of trees that once it once like it starts snowing These trees will just have this nice little snow effect on them like one two three four five six seven of them Most of the trees that I've shown fall under the snow line But these ones are actually high enough that they will turn like the leaves will turn white So if you're into that the white leaves type of thing, this is a good place to have it also I mean, it's a nice place, like, to build a castle, because it has flat ground at the top, kind of, you can just level it out. And it just runs down and leads into this massive plains biome that's separated by a river. Which I think is pretty cool. As you can see, like, they'll start to turn white like this. All the other leaves going up, going up the mountain. This mountain is just good if you want, like, a nice overlook area, because it has a nice little metal area. A nice flat top. This is just a good building mountain, that's what I will call it for you guys. But I think I've been stalling. I think it's about the time to show you guys the best feature of this sea. Besides this winding river leading into the ocean. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I mean the lake. Like, look at this. Anyways, I've been stalling long enough. It's time to show you the best mountain range in Minecraft. I, I think this might be the best mountain range in the game. At least in Minecraft Bedrock. Minecraft Java, maybe as well. Welcome to Nike Lake Central, as I dubbed it. Because see, look like the lake is like a Nike logo. But this isn't the main feature. Let's file over to Mr. Neighboring Mountain, too. The coordinates are up on screen. I think you notice this, this mountain range comes into a play a lot. You've been seeing it in the background of many other features. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna actually turn off the daylight signal real quick. But, if you've been paying attention, you've been noticing this mountain range make a faint appearance in many of the, many of the previous areas. Because, well, I mean, it's, it's so massive. You'll see it's grand size. I can't even show you its size, actually. It's too big and my render just can't go far enough. But over there, way on the other side of it, is the village overlooking that massive mountain. There's the mountain itself. Over there, way off in the distance, is the mountain village, and this all connects it. So we take flight, and go into F1 mode to show you guys. The mountain circle. Arguably the biggest one, you see, you can see right there, this was the mountain, the mountain village. I didn't want to spoil it for you guys, so like, I flew away. But what I was spoiling, wasn't trying to spoil, was this. That's right, this is arguably some of the craziest generation this game has to offer. Look at this mess. Look at this madness. I just don't understand, like, how any of this works. This has to be, like, some of the craziest mountain generation I have seen, like, ever. Now, I don't think I can show you guys properly. I'll try, but if you go up really high, you can see it is, in fact, a circle. Or, like, an actually bolt of sorts. There's the other side right of it there. You can barely see the other side from one one to the other. Here it is. The mountain. A foot. Oh, actually, call it because it looks like a foot. Like some, some giant just put a foot and just like stepped. But yeah, this is arguably the, I want to say mountain range because is this even a mountain? Like what is this? Like it's so jagged, so sharp. It looks like needles. It looks beautiful. And then of course it has gorgeous terrain stretching out. There's the other mount there's the other village from before. And there's Omega Mountain. Right there. All these 
all, all, all of these on mountains honestly are beautiful, but this has to be the best one. And in fact, it's not far away from spawn. You saw the coordinates earlier. It's really close. You could like walk in a couple days time and settle in like the best valley in the game. There's the Nike Lake. There's caves lining the sides of them. I'll even find one right now. With this beautiful chamber underneath. And it just goes down and down and down. It it has like if you choose to settle here, it has direct access to huge cave systems. Like right next to the lake. And you can just look at the clouds. Like the clouds don't even try to compete with the, the mountain. It's it's just insane. Just everything about this scene is awesome. And there you go. There you have it people. That this is I just this is arguably the best Minecraft bedrock. 1.18c, at least that I've seen so far. Thing is, I will put out a disclaimer. I don't know if this generation will stick around, and date. It's this is still just by enabling the case and list option in the world settings menu. It is subject to change, even though I doubt that it will. But I honestly hope it doesn't, because we don't want to lose this, do we? Like this pure beauty that you get just from standing out at the bottom and just like looking up. Like look at this. There's like everything about this just your thumbnail. But anyways, yeah, this is like the best seed for like anything mountain related on like our bedrock and I'd like to thank you guys for watching this weird little video thing with some editing. So yeah, thank you everyone, and goodbye. Oh, that was a weird transition. There's a mountain in the background, look at that.